Hello, this is Michelle and I. What a week I've got in store for you. Well, not me, the universe. That's because we've got a full moon, another one I know. We also have Mercury, the planet of communication, going direct. Hurrah! And we have Mars shifting signs. Wow. Here's your weekly astrology. <laughs> Aquarius, I bring tidings of joy. We have Mercury, the planet of communication going direct. Hoorah! You've had all sorts of um, possible problems with those people closest to you. Possibly your intimate relationships, your romantic relationships, the people that you hold dear to your heart. Or, on a positive note, you might have suddenly hooked up with an ex-lover or you might have bumped into friends from the past and you feel buoyed up by that. But either way, there's maybe something in your heart that was like, oh, I'm not really sure what I feel about where everything is going and, and, and what's going on in my personal and intimate relationships. Thank goodness, Mercury goes direct and you can mend and heal and schmooze and have romantic times. And on the 10th, it shifts and it heads towards the energy that's going on a lot this month. And that energy is in your primal zone. We have Mars entering your primal zone. Now that is full on. On the one hand, it can be great for sexual energy, but it can be a little bit naughty. It could be a little bit taboo. It can be a little bit, um, you know, Fifty Shades. There's a sort of element of intensity, obsession and, and primal stuff. It could also make you not deal with anybody being angry with you because you will get them back. Now, you know, my one of my favourite, not my favourite sayings, not I think about it all the time, but there's a great saying, which is, if you want revenge, uh, take a spade because you're gonna have to dig two graves not one i didn't say that correctly but confucius say do not seek revenge or you will have to dig your own grave then we have a full moon and the full moon is super intense and it's in your position oh it's not as intense as last month though but i have to say it's, it's intense in the way that it brings your security to the surface and you will realize through a psychic revelation a dream or symbolism what security means to you and where you're going with it and what's real and what isn't real. You're very plugged into your spiritual mains on that day because it's conjunct Neptune. And so it's deep, you know, so you're going to get the right information from your soul about what to do to feel secure and also to increase your finances. It's being very, very helpful in those areas. What else are we having going on? We've got Mercury shifting signs and also going, plunging you into your deep side. There'll be secrets and conversations and people will see you as very, very powerful and, and slightly different this month and this week because you've got this air of charisma. And that energy is goes throughout the whole of September. Use it wisely, my friend. There's a part of you that almost won't know what to do with it. You might walk in a room and people are like, you know, give, give you the double take because you're giving off this vibe. And normally you're you know, used to maybe being on the edge looking in, but it's very powerful. You can find yourself in a position of power or in the spotlight this week, but you can handle it because it gives you that rah, primal strength. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Are you sure there's enough there? Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.